All right, here's a, <clears throat> a tough question, actually. Um, adding rational expressions is, is a tough thing. you got to get a common denominator. And to get the common denominator, you have to factor. And so uh, here, there's a little bit of factoring involved. So I'm going to leave the top the same, x squared minus 5. The bottom, I'm going to try and break it into two uh, brackets. Uh, the top of this one, I'll leave the same. This one, uh, there's a common 3 that I can factor out. So 3 and then x plus 3. OK, now, just having done lots of these questions, there's an x plus 3 in this one. I'll bet there's an x plus 3 in this one. And, and I'm just, I'm, I'm guessing, but I'm hoping. So if this is an x, and I have to get an 8x squared out of the deal, this one here over here has to be an 8x. And then I need to get a 27. So if this is a 3, something times 3 will give me 27. This one I'm hoping is 9. Let me just go over here and foil that out and see if it comes out uh, to that. So 8x squared um, plus 24x plus 9x plus 27. If I have these middle ones, I get 33x. That's what they have. Whew. Good. <laughs> now, um, again, you could have taken that and factored that with the earmuff method or the AC method. Um, I, I, I just find the guess and check a little faster for me. All right, so now I've got the denominators, and so I need to find the lowest common denominator. And that has to include every factor the most number of times that it occurs. So in this one here, I've got an 8x plus 9 and an x plus 3. So this occurs once, this occurs once. Now over here, there's a 3 that I don't have yet, so I have to include that as part of the lowest common denominator. But it has 1x plus 3. I already have 1x plus 3, so I'm good. So that will be my lowest common denominator. So I'll rewrite this first one, x squared minus 5 over 8x plus 9 and an x plus 3. Now, in order to be the common denominator, I have this. I, have, I don't have the 3, so I need to include the 3 here. If I include it on the bottom, I'm also going to need to include it on the top. OK, plus over here I have x plus 4 on the top, and then 3 times x plus 3. But in the denominator, I have these two. I don't have this one. So I need to include an 8x plus 9 there. If I have it on the bottom, I have to include it on the top. OK, so now I have a common denominator. So I can rewrite this expression with my common denominator, 8x plus 9, x plus 3, and the 3. Maybe I should put the 3 at the front. That's where we usually put it. And since it's multiply, that would be the commutative law, but it doesn't matter what order we put the factors in. And then on the top, I just write what I have there. Again, I'll put the 3 in front, 3 times x squared minus 5, plus x plus 4 times 8x plus 9. Now, I probably can, sim oops, I can simplify that top stuff on top. So I'm going to distribute that through. So it'll be 3x squared minus 15 plus, and now I'll do the whole foil thing here. 8x squared plus 9x plus 32x plus 36, all over my lowest common denominator. Okay, now on the top, I can collect like terms. These two are alike, so it'll be 11x squared. These two are alike, so it'll be 41x. And then the 15 and the 36, that would be 21, plus 21 over the lowest common denominator, plus 9x plus 3. Now, at this point, you could take a look at the top here and see if you could factor it. Because if you could factor it, and then you have all the stuff on the bottom, if there were any two factors on the top and the bottom that were the same, I could cancel them. But I look at 11x squared and 21, and I, I, I don't think there's any way I'm getting them. I guess I could try it. 11x and an x. 
21 might be a 7 and a 3. But then that would be 77x. That's way too much. Even if I put a 3 here and a 7 there, it would be 11x. 33 plus 7 is 40, not 41. I don't think it will factor. So I will just leave it exactly like that. All right. Tough question. Tough question. Being able to uh, identify that you need to get a common denominator between these two, and then to be able to factor that and factor that, and then identify what the lowest common denominator is, and then make sure you account for any factors that you don't have on each, and then simplifying that. There's lots and lots of uh, places where uh, you could go wrong. Good question.